chair. <laughs> it's my chair. <laughs> So, to be continued. <laughs> the footage ends here around the, the year 80, uh, 89. So, if you want to see uh, <clears throat> friends, filmmakers who began after 89, that will be in the next volume. <laughs> <coughs> So, you saw it, what I said. <laughs> uh, you, 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 you looked at some of you, maybe at the list. Uh, there is a list of, in order of appearance of all of the filmmakers. Most you, of the you? people got it. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I, no, I had, I was contemplating, you know, to be here and, and name <laughs> as they appear, but that may have been disturbing. <laughs> that you could have another session. <laughs> you know. But maybe some of them you recognize. I have a question, Jonas, about Barbara Rubin. Is in the fountain. Is that Central Park? Yes. And who's she with when she's jumping around in the fountain? Debbie, Debbie one of her. One of her friends. Yes. Yeah. And what year was that taken? And that was uh, 64. After Christmas on Earth. Was Around that, that time. Yes. Around that time. She's an amazing filmmaker. Barbara <clears throat> yeah, there's a poster of hers on the wall after, after we'll put down the um, screen. You can see some other work with each other. Did you film any footage inside Warhol's factory? Yes, that appears in uh, scenes from the life of Andy Warhol. Warhol yes. Actually, maybe it would be uh, interesting <coughs> to tell people how, what, how you made, what the footage is from. The footage is really leftovers from all of my other films. Oh. Uh, some of it appears in some other films, but mostly ends, uh, chopped ends, and. Uh, uh, something that did not fit in any other and did not know what to do. Then said, why don't I put string it together? Because mm. this is like an amazing collection of uh, brief, uh, sh short, uh, sometimes a f just a few frames, portraits of the whole generation that uh, was instrumental in establishing the new American cinema. They are not. <clears throat> it's uh, from the 50s to 90s. You see Maurice Sanger, Lionel Roberts, and that's the 50s. Mm -hmm. Anyone have a question? Uh, no rush. <laughs> <laughs> Carol Leach Neyman's in it, right, Jim? Yes, she's, she's <laughs> several times. There. There's a question here. Yes. Um, I'm wondering, I was listening to, uh, I was looking at a, a short thing, a uh, preview for this, and in it, or, or maybe it was in something else, I can't even remember it, but you said something about, um, about, you know, you didn't want to do it chronologically. No, or it you was, decided uh, not to do it, it did chronologically. not make sense to put it chronologically. Right. But then, but then you said something like, uh, "Too much work." <laughs> you don't roll the bits and try to, to put, you know. No, but you, but you there, said there was no need. All right, but that that wasn't my question. With what you were so saying what? is what so you were saying. So thanks for the statement. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to ask She's getting the question. What's the question? Well, what you were saying was that that there was something that did have some kind of order about it, but you, that you didn't really understand it and that you didn't understand it's the real It's just talking, people. I was just talking. <laughs> 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 just trying it together and that's the order. There is a order of its own. Right. Yeah. The, the, the chance order, which is as good as any other. 
Yeah. Uh, when you choosing the music and then you include that <laughs> sort of comedic monologue, that's on by that Roman. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. You know, it's a little. It's a little interpretation. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, on, 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 on uh, Hatchable, on Rodney's Hatchable. Okay, yeah. By a very serious person. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. And what's that from? Is that. What from a lecture that she did on Hatchable. Oh. Yes. She is very knowledgeable uh, and very, very serious. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. the only what? Jean Houston. Jean Houston. That's the only speech we hear in the film, so it comes. Uh, that, that's enough. I just wanted to, I consider that all the filmmakers there are possibles thinking. And they are also a little bit uh, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that possible was. I have a question. I thought the um, the contrast between the sound and the images was really amazing in terms of my experience of the imagery. So how did you choose the the sound? Uh, by, by chance. Uh, just, by chance? Uh, you needed something uh, relentless. That's uh, Herman Nietzsche, in case you mm. uh, organ. And it was the performance of anthology. I'm interested in the fact that most of the movie is in high speed. Well, that's what the Borax used to do, you know, single frame. Yeah. Okay. Not high speed. One. Just single frame. <coughs> Condensed. Not high speed. Condensed reality. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> or orchestrated. Single frames. Written. I was wondering, why did you... That's my character. <laughs> <laughs> my blood. Yeah. Really. Was there a particular inspiration for this project to get you to sit down no, and begin editing all of this? No, I did not want to uh, throw out that, that footage. I just wanted to keep it and share with others because it's very unique. But in, there was something like 1996 where you huh? thought, this is the time I have to, to make this film? Uh, film is fragile. It fades. And, uh, uh, I have to do something before it goes. When is the next chapter? <laughs> is it to be continued? To be continued, are you making... Um, <coughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I have another like 15 minutes. Uh, I still have a lot of finished footage, and this year I decided that it's it's either uh, either I finish this year or it will really be unusable. It's, it's fading. So there will be another part. Yes. What's your mood when you're shooting? What? What is your mood when you're shooting? My mood? My mood? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I have not, no time to think about my mood <laughs> and watch myself as I'm doing it. So he's in continuity of style for 30 years of the course That's of time. Right. How, I mean, you've been shooting this the same way for that long? Uh, a bolex, uh, there was a bolex kind of single frame continuity. When I switched the video, it's something else. Yeah, sure. It, it much depends much on the tool and the, 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 what you're interested in. The content, the subject matter. Mr. Mikas, is, what, which video makers do you like today? Uh, I will skip that question. Himself, <laughs> What do you think about... Uh, the reason is that I have no time to see all that is being done, and it would not be just to name one or two, and, uh, and I don't have complete perspective. So it would uh, not be fair. Yes? What do you think about um, technology nowadays? About what? Technology and emerging technology. <coughs> I don't think about it, I just use it. <laughs> <laughs> use the most, uh, you know, most up to date, that's what's available because in video uh, <laughs> you have no choice. 
uh, you know, I, I was taping on VHS, that disappeared. Then uh, the mini DVD, that's practically gone also. Yes. So you use what is there. What's everyone? A second film. Mm. I mean, why I'm a switch to video because film is practically gone. It will come back. <laughs> uh, there was uh, a, uh, one short clip that said it was in Puglia. Is that was that in Italy? Puglia. Yes. Uh, no, that was there was a, 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 a very unique bar on uh, uh, Grand. Oh yes, it's and, still uh, there. Mulberry. Yes, it's still there. Oh, and, oh okay. And, uh, uh, I don't think it's. Uh, yeah, it's still there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go for a drink it's there. not the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's not. not. <laughs> <laughs> there is one segment where Peter Kubelka cooks. Yes, uh, that was movie. for Channel 13. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I was just wondering. It was one hour program for television. Oh, so you cooked for the show? So it wasn't just it, a piece? Yes, it was uh, right there at the. Channel 13 studio. I, I saw a lot of a lot of the shots are Ken Jacobs and Stan Brakic in them. Do you have a special relationship with both Only of them? Only that I see, you, I used to see more of them and, and, and some others who were out of town. So of course you see more of them. And they are, you know, my, my, they are my close New York, uh, you know, friends used to be and still are. Neighbors. Or, Yes, so a little bit maybe out of proportion, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. I was not trying to balance, I just took it when it was. When you, when you go to edit your footage, I mean, what... I this was this, easiest. This is the easiest? Like, what's just your mind thing? Splicing face? together. Yeah, do, do so I isolate I totally yourself? at random. <laughs> you look at it though. You look at it on a viewer. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you isolate yourself when you edit? Like, are people around you? Like, <laughs> no, no, they're, they're usually sleeping. <laughs> I, 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 I do most of my work uh, of this kind uh, late at night when everybody sleeps. Who's the doggy man <laughs> in, um, that's drinking out of the doggy bowl and jumping around like a dog? <laughs> and in the Kenny com Kennedy compound or somewhere. Do you know who it is? It's so it's funny. Jonas. But it, it says, <laughs> didn't you read? It Was says, that you? It, it, it says autobiography. <laughs> I, are you, that was so funny. Rivaling <laughs> 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 Charlie Chaplin. That was uh, one of my most difficult working days. Yeah, <laughs> you the dog. They I always like, like to run around. They never, they never still. <laughs> and it was very difficult to yeah. keep to them. Yeah. Wow. And it was like uh, okay for one day I will live in all. That was foolish. <laughs> and the, the worst thing that they like to run to run after the cars. <laughs> um, the chapter that named uh, myself. It was, um, I noticed it seems to be the only footage that's normal speed and static camera. Does it have a particular significance? Or? No, only the, if, if my film, sometimes, you know, I just film myself, but if I put my camera on something and push the button, you know, put, and it's running and then I sit down. Mm -hmm. So, of course, it's, uh, there is no movement. How, how did you decide to, to use film to start filming? Why? Uh, no idea. No idea. Mm -hmm. Do you remember when, more or less? Mm, I know when. When I, uh, uh, when, when, uh, I landed in New York and 
I began working, got a job, and I knew I can somehow or other buy, you know, a camera. Did you meet Hans Richter? Is, uh, wasn't he teaching a class on filmmaking? At the uh, City College. At City College. Yes. Did you meet him at that time? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, but uh, six months after I came to uh, New York, uh, I heard that he was teaching there. So I wrote him a note. He said, I, I, you know, I have read about your work, you know about your work, and I heard that you're dead. That I, am, <clears throat> that I have no money, could I come you know, to your classes for free? <laughs> <laughs> and what did he say? He wrote back, just come. <laughs> <laughs> but then I discovered that he, had, he was not teaching at all. He was only <laughs> running the school. <laughs> <clears throat> and there were all kinds of uh, ex-Hollywood people running, you know, teaching their classes. But, but that's where I met Shorty Clark, I met a good, a good number of my old friends. <coughs> and what year was that? Uh, 52. 52. 52. 51. But we became very good friends.